Assalamu alaikum. Good uh, afternoon. Chairman of Indian uh, Society Sports and Graduation Ceremony Program, respected uh, members of the Citizen Defense Committee, my colleagues and respected participants. I am Dr. Mahmoud Jahan, presenting my thesis for defense. My topics is awareness of ethics in a sample of medical doctors in Bangladesh.
medical ethics and negligence. A number of concerns about ethics for health professionals have been raised. This reflects the complaints about negligence towards patient's care and increased legal action in opposition to health professionals, medical practice worldwide over, over and above that Hippocratic oath is governed by normative or moral philosophical theories as an, an ancient in medical ethics. In developed countries, just as with governance, there are checks and balances which ensure good estate governance and in the sense of good professional code of practice. In ancient civil society, medical ethics was applied according to the Hippocrates code. With the change of time, course of conduct, laws have been upgraded. Nowadays, medical ethics is the basic module of medical curriculum at the institutes of developed countries like USA, Canada, and many European countries. I am just reading the specific area not as a cause. Doctor-patient relationship. The issue of doctor-patient relationship is not that straightforward, as several factors influence the balance of focus to at play in the relationship. In this complex interplay of doctor-patient relationship, the factors that influence the relationship and the issue of balance of force or otherwise put the power balance at any point in the relationship brings up the higher role of bioethics and professionalism in the medical practice. Several breaches immediately broke up with one that considers the quadrangle of factors, doctors, patients, bioethics and professionalism. Especially in low and middle income countries, some of the cited reasons for these non ethical behaviors among some lengthy low middle income countries, physicians being that a lot of these countries are considered low resource countries in terms of professional manpower, finance, oversight, governance, and problem of level of population literacy, etc. Doctors are very frequently come across ethical dilemmas in their day-to-day -day practice. They are not provided formal training in practical aspects of ethics in their medical curriculum. In addition to this, identification of departmental lectures teachings is very is also not very favorable among them. So there is an urgent need to include practical education of ethics that to be in an interesting manner, particularly in a multidisciplinary setting to bridge the gap in knowledge, attitude and practices regarding ethics in clinical practice and research. A study of ethical relation between physicians and the pharmaceutical industries mentioned that the existing Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council Act prohibits any unethical relation between physician and pharmaceutical industry. There are evidence that pharmaceutical industries are providing cash, hospitality, pleasure trips, medical equipment, books, sponsorship for conference, workshop decoration for chamber, professional and non-professional gifts for doctors. There are clinical trials are conducting by the researchers and pharmaceutical industries in the country. All clinical trials should need to take ethical approval from National Research Ethics Committee of Bangladesh Medical Research Council. At this stage, profession is losing its image and respect. Though a very small number of physicians are involved with this misconduct, if it is not addressed by professionals, it could be built by state professions like USA where a third party, a body of federal law dealing with fraud and abuse has evolved 
to the point where it is being it was being used by the prosecute prosecute prosecutor to punish pharmaceuticals companies and physicians. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of Bangladesh enforces and governs the medical practice according to legislation and laws. The government regulatory body also governs the hospitals, clinics and diagnostic centers. Health professionals follow these principles to perform their professional tasks as well as World Health Organization. There was given education about medical ethics in all medical institutes at the undergraduate level in Bangladesh. Professional misconducts and other fundamental issues were taught in the set course and curriculum for medical practices. In Bangladesh, the Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council regulated the discipline in, in relation to misconduct, malpractice, negligence, and conduct in medical practice. Regarding this, the investigator conduct a study about assessment of knowledge among the medical professionals towards medical ethics and challenges that enter daily practice. Justification of the study. Medical ethics means the moral principles which helps medical professionals understand and apply values and judgments in the practice of clinical medicine and scientific research. In real life, medical professionals often fall in ethical dilemma and thus suffer from indecisions about what to do regarding case management. According to the Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council and Bangladesh Medical Association, the physician must be followed the policies and consider the policy interest by maintaining proper medical and dental standards and education in the country. The council maintains disciplinary control over medical practitioners with regard to misconduct, negligence, as well as behavior in their medical practice. Misconduct of 
misconduct or conduct un, unbecoming of the physicians. Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council is the body to regulate the code of conduct of Bangladesh or uh, uh, conduct of the medical professionals of Bangladesh. After graduation, they uh, after, after graduation, physicians uh, have to register themselves with the councils. They have to agree to abide by the course of declaration. I place to give my life to the service of humanity. I will not use my knowledge, country, uh, to the laws of humanity. I will maintain the utmost respect of human life from the time of conception. This is a code of conduct of the MDC. It also includes responsibilities of the physicians, professionals, service duties of the physicians to their patients and to each other to the public and the profession at large. <coughs> Methodology, one conceptual framework. There are dependent variable and independent variable. Dependent variable is awareness on ethics and independent variable social demographic factors like age, educational level, population, working experience, knowledge on ethics, gain knowledge from source of ethics, build on gather knowledge on ethics, minimize ethical issue, prefer to consult or discuss an ethical problem arising at workplace, ethics practices in real life, important of knowledge on ethics in profession, problem to maintain ethics, ethics issue in real life or practical life. Objective of the study, general objective, the study aims to assess the level of understanding regarding medical ethics among the health profession. A specific objects to assess the knowledge on background of ethics, to determine the knowledge of code of conduct, to determine the understanding of current policy laws relevant to ethics in a relationship with patients, to assess the socio demographic characteristics of the Respondent. The study design was a descriptive cross-sectional survey. The study locations, the study area was selected but possibly these are the physicians are, are from three medical colleges and hospitals which is situated at Dhaka city. These are Dhaka medical college and hospitals. Sir Solimulla Medical College and Hospitals, Shoit Sarawati Medical College and Hospitals, and general, some general practitioners who are working at or are doing practice at Dhaka City. The study period. Uh, the study was done within the time period of eight months from uh, June 2016 to January 2017. The study population, the study respondents where the health professionals, physicians working at Dhaka Medical College and hospitals, Sarsolimula Medical College and hospitals, Shoit Sarwati Medical College and hospitals, and doing general practitioners. Eligibility criteria. There is inclusion criteria. The respondent must be, must be a medical professional and uh, must be registered with the BMR or BMDC and uh, willing to participate voluntarily in the in this uh, study and exclusion criteria there is non-registered medical professionals not willing to participate in the uh, study and sample size uh, is a statistically formula that is greater than square p q by d s d square that is 384 their grade is level of confidence or level of significance that is 95 percent confidence level that is 1 by 1.96 3 equal to probability 50 percent 0 0.05 and the Q and the acceptance 0 0.05 and considering the non-response rate and missing the data the sample size uh, was around 400 and sampling method uh, this is a, a non-probability sampling method was chosen for sele uh, selection.
selecting uh, the medical colleges, hospitals, institutions. After that, the purposes sampling taking was used for selecting health professionals who were working there. Data collection instrument was a self-administered questionnaire was prepared by the reviewing manuscript, literature, publication of similar objectives, maintaining the objectives of the study that reflect the study variables, finally protocol, protocol evaluated by doing peer review process. And uh, data collection techniques, the self-administered questionnaires were filled anonymously after explanation to every participant. The data collectors are brief the objectives and benefits of the study to the respondents. All the study participants had been assured about their confidentiality and anonymity. In order to identify the questionnaires, numbers were assigned to each respondent. Data collected from positive respondents only. Before studying data collection, eight data collectors were selected. All of them are young physicians who have just, who have just completed their graduations. They were given one week training on how to collect the data as well as how to present the concept form to the participants. How much time they spent and ethical implication of the study before starting the collection of data. Data management and analysis plan. All possible measures have taken to maintain good quality of data to avoid the chance of missing inconsistency and duplication of data. Data collector was communicated with the researcher every day and after collection of data. All collected data were checked with full attention and sincere efforts and kept in the sequence in which those have been numbered. That data were entered into the personal computer by expert computer operator followed to SPSS program. And uh, we have taken all the quality and assurance to member data collection and uh, ethical implications. Yeah, I have already told that the, uh, the ethical. Um, uh, ethical peers have been taken from National Research Ethics Committee of Bangladesh Medical Research Council and, uh, and before the, that uh, the, the protocol had been peer reviewed by the authority of National Research Ethics Committee before submitted to the National Research Ethics Committee and uh, before submitting to the NRC, the protocol also reviewed by the American University of Soviet Union's Nations Authority. The consent form did not require to translate in Bengali because all the participants are medical graduates and capable to understand the meaning of consent form. Ethical issues were strictly maintained throughout the study. No permission was required from the head of the institution for collection of data from the participants for their participation in the study. All the participants are given an explanation about the objective of the study and their right to participate or not to participate or withdraw participation from the study at any time. Participation in the study was voluntary and information sheet of a consent form written in English supplied to each participant to read and the nature and purpose of the study were explained to every participant before this had consent taken by the data collector. All the ethical requirements were fulfilled and different aspects of ethical issues also undertaken. The prospective participants were given free opportunities to receive summary information of the study in writing before giving consent and taking part in the interviews of the research. Participants who provided written consent to take part in the study were included in the sample. Personal information of the participant was kept confidential. Inform consent obtained from all of the participants who give be signed. Actually, I describe this detail because in the ethical issue, consent form uh, signing in the consent form is very important. So, 
any study, you know, from the beginning of study, this could be clearly mentioned that how I take in that concept from, from the participants.
this I will be to uh, just meet their graduation MBBS. Uh, MBBS uh, 379, uh, which is 93%, and the rest of them, uh, 28 respondents, only 7 OIR, uh, only 7% were PhD, MP, MS, FCPS, MPH, and doing their diploma. Out of uh, when within this 10 are MD and M MS, 5 are FCBS person to keep their FCBS. Distribution of respondents according to their working experience. A huge number, a huge number of literature suggested that the ethics practice is very vital part for their for a, 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 every human beings. The ethics practices have the potential influence regarding experience of the respective demand. The study was to consider the working experience of the study participants because it may give the sharing ideas in different aspects. The above table shows that the uh, working experience was uh, 153 below 5 years, that is 38.3% and uh, you are to tell us about 5 minutes. 5 minutes only, so I have to focus. I am moving first. <laughs> uh, uh, so it is important, the study was considered to experience working. The, that is, uh, respondents majority 38.3% was in the working experience of below 5 years, 25.3% was in the 6 to 10 percent, 10 years working experience and 47 to 8 percent. And uh, knowledge gathering, I think there is a huge question. I don't know how I can finish this uh, 5 minutes, but I am trying to my best. And, uh, Distribution of the respondents according to their gain knowledge. Uh, there is uh, four uh, among the 400. There's uh, there. This is the multiple questions and their answers. About uh, two 45 percent gain their knowledge from uh, ethics on books, general texts. Uh, <laughs> The source of the ethical knowledge doctors as well as medical practitioners may receive the knowledge from different sources. The scientific articles recommend that all the their resources are very uh, potential for doctors to enrich the ethics knowledge in practice accordingly. And the data are present and also and more helpful to gather knowledge on medical ethics. And out of this, the they have that questions. There is a, whether the knowledge of ethics is very important or not. Of them, 175, that means 43.8 persons said that it is very important, and 36.5 uh, persons said that extremely important and not at all also that is three persons point eight persons and uh, there is a relationship usefulness of gather the medical ethics from different uh, different sources that is shows this is a multiple question that is uh, uh, about 32 percent shows that uh, one source they gather the knowledge and uh, multiple choice that is gather the knowledge only 0.8 percent. After the calculation of data, there is 32 percent response to learn from the one source and 16.3 percent were the source, three sources, 16 were learn from two sources. And uh, there is a relationship between the gathering of knowledge and uh, why is the interest to see the relationship between the number of sources and importance of ethics knowledge. Here, the value that is, we do the chi-square test, 
we saw that the ratio is ratio test is 63.6 to 3, p value is 0 uh, 0.001. That means in 5% level of significance, we may reject the null hypothesis. So there is a significant association between the importance of knowledge on ethics in workplace and usefulness source of the knowledge on medical ethics. And uh, nowadays the importance of ethics is highly acceptable in concern uh, with the, especially for the medical doctors is to so much essential uh, because uh, uh, because the directly deal with the patient's disease uh, with trust and respect. However, the study deal with the views of the participants regarding inclusion of medical ethics in curricula and undergraduate and postgraduate that found that 97% of respondents uh, showed importance to include the ethics in medical curricula. Slides on the screen, let's go through. Oh, wrong way. This is showing the uh, showing the distribution of respondents according to the main contents of ethics and knowledge on ethics. The, the participants are asking whether they have the knowledge on the uh, ethics on undergraduate levels. 90% uh, told that. They have they have knowledge on Hippocrates oath. They don't know the Nuremberg Code about any Nuremberg Code 4.5 persons, and also they don't know about the Helsinki Declaration about 84.75 persons. That is also a very important that's there about the knowledge on ethics, medical ethics, and also the professional ethics. Distribution of respondents according to their stage of facing difficulties in workplace regarding ethics and its importance. That is, uh, they uh, they show that uh, facing difficulties, facing difficulties in their working place, so there's never facing any difficulties is. Uh, 27 persons and daily facing any ethical issues that is 19 percent weekly that is 16.8 percent and monthly 20.7 percent and importance of knowledge on ethics uh, they mentioned that about 75 percent mentioned that the importance of knowledge is very on ethics is very important for their professional life and they are asking questions what type of ethical problems they are facing in their daily practices. And, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, mention there's a uh, 51 respondent, they mention there's a conflict in the patients with uh, Unethical practice in the hospital staff, illegal activity of ward boy, diagnostic centers, 
and want to, uh, sometimes the patients are not able to give, to give the concern in, uh, in case of surgery, refusing treatments and refusing of the higher evaluation and refusing patient think he or she will die soon but uh, they don't want uh, any management and uh, trade by hospital uh, attendance and uh, threatening the emergency. Oh, uh, actually, uh, they are, if you are mentioning, they are facing very uh, threatening by the attendance of the patients or sometimes they are facing ethical problems by the, uh, by the, uh, by the person who are also supporting the uh, medical management. Okay, one minute. The above sick table shows that among 400 respondents, 46.8% was average knowledge on the law pertaining at the working place. 38, 5% have a little knowledge on knowledge and 10.3% have considerable knowledge about the law in working places. And uh, existence of ethics committee in the institution, hospitals, and clinics. Existing ethics committee about uh, uh, two fifty-four uh, persons uh, replied that they have the existing ethics ethical committee and uh, perform uh, the ethics committee role. 127 persons said that the ethics committee play perform the roles. And doctors take advice, support from the respective institution from the following issues when they are asking. Okay, so from whom they will take the uh, support when they face any ethical problems. Uh, to ensure a standard ethical practice among the doctors, there were 351 respondents, they will take from the support from Bangladesh Medical Center. General Council 75 said that they take from the local administrations. 30 percent said that their laws and enforcement authority have the role to uh, solve the problem. And uh, 164 persons, 64 persons said that the BMN can take a role. And 21 not sure. About advice healthcare personnel when they encounter ethical legal problems. 305 persons so that they take advice from the healthcare personnel and when they face any problems. And local administrator, 106 persons say that they will go to the local administrator. And 75% uh, uh, from the local administrator and only 3% response from laws and enforcement authority. The second question was to advise the healthcare responses when they encounter ethical legal problems where 305 responses rise and to take advice from the and 164 from BMA. Other third, fourth and fifth questions were to, to advise administration of the institution, hospitals, clinics on ethics uh, and rules, to settle conflicts between the professionals, to settle conflicts between professionals and patients' relatives. They have found that the same results and majority 293 respondents from BMDC and 152 test, respondents from BMA. And statements on ethical issues, ethical conduct is only important to legal actions. 51 percent, uh, 165 percent respondent that it is the uh, agree only 89, 24.5 uh, percent and agree. Uh, okay. Time's up. Yeah? Just one minute. Time's one up. minute. The Time's study up. followed at a standard five points, like at a scale, from grading to a strongly, uh, disagree, uh, disagree, not sure, agree, and strongly agree. On the basis of the experiment issue, I have uh, grading, 
According to the participants' opinion, a total 13 issues were discussed with the participants where they have given their opinion according to the Likert scale based on the ethical issues on the basis of Likert scale. Most of the cases, five issues were disagreed and another seven issues were agreed by the respondents. This is the one to know. Researchers want to know the respondents' opinion of the participants regarding whether to use of the brand name than the generic name of the name during one's practice. 50.8% suggested to use the name. <coughs> Come to the last sentence. Last sentence. Last sentence. So, <laughs> it is a big, big chapter. And yeah. big question, so I, I don't know how we did and uh, how. <laughs> Your conclusion? No. Just the last sentence having an ethical committee. Sure, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> the last sentence, thank no, you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I have a conclusion. No, 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 conclusion. Yes. yes. Of course, yes. Conclusions. <laughs> Summary of the conclusion. We all know medical ethics is the vital for the medical and clinical practice. Without ethics, a professional practice cannot be survived, especially health professions. Yes. Medical ethics not only serve the patients but also protect the rights and dignity of the health care professionals. Nothing can think without ethical practice in the modern medical science. It is also become more complex and complicated in day-by-day -day practice. In developing countries like Bangladesh, ethical practice in the clinical settings does not appear so strongly after liberation. Even undergraduate and postgraduate medical curriculum has not emphasized the importance of ethical practice. This is also not a strong requirement for patients' clients as most of them are not well educated or hands concern regarding this issue. Therefore, a study findings show the same reflection of the current scenario scenario of ethical issue in Bangladeshi medical professionals. However, the situation is changing due to the globalization and urbanization. Ethical issue is made in medical practice is requirement from both uh, in uh, both patients and professional side. A study demonstrated that medical professionals are now feeling the importance of medical ethics and inclusion in medical curricula. Findings of this study show that the current knowledge level and practice of medical ethics among the Bangladesh practitioners, both of these are not set at satisfactory level. Responsible authorities like BMTC and BMA should think about this matter. Awareness should be improved by the seminar, workshop, mobile tech, etc. Among the doctors, the government should start developing laws and legislation for ensuring ethical practice in clinical service as early as possible. Remember, ethical practice represents the civilized medical service as well as civilized nation. Recommendations, the study findings recommends the inclusion of medical ethics elaborately in the undergraduate and postgraduate medical courses which enrich the medical professionals to explore the ethics properly to consider the current situation of Bangladesh regarding ethics practice need to arrange the medical ethics and its related workshop, seminar and training program for the medical personnel from all levels which empower them to use the ethics to develop the mechanism of existing ethics committee role and encourage to other institutions to establish the ethics committee, then to develop central committee to medical ethics for proper monitoring of the practitioners and minimize the unethical issues immediately before arising the discomfort situation. So, thank you. Uh, uh, I, actually, I am not happy to present this uh, within the very short time I am not ever in this, uh, I have the time limitations. If uh, before presentations, uh, then it has, you have that, uh, some limitations, then I concise the terms. I can concise the presentation. So thank you all for your patience. If you have any questions, please ask me. Okay, now, now it's time for questions. It's actually uh, 50 minutes exactly.
uh, instead of 20. You've been on the video. Uh, any questions or comments? Uh, please go ahead. Please stand up and identify. Thank you for
relation between the not at all somewhat important, important, very important and extremely important. They are, they are categorized in the, in the 25 cells. If we do the chi square, that is Pearson chi square test is not done from here. That is uh, here, that is likely to test. In this test, the general researcher as we find that the observed that 25 cells have expected frequency less than 5 and the minimum expected frequency is 0.02. So we should consider that likelihood ratio test statistics. Here the value of likelihood ratio test is 63.623 and p value is 0.001. That means in 5% level of significance, we may reject the nine hypothesis if we said that there is no relation between the sources of, from which sources we gather the knowledge. So null hypothesis is rejected. So there is a significant association between the importance of knowledge on ethics in workplace and usefulness of source of knowledge on medical ethics. That is one thing. We have several other questions to the participants during when um, we are asking them about the about the how important are the knowledge of ethics in your professions and there is a and uh, they mention there are uh, five criteria not at all somewhat important, important, very important, not extremely important. So, no, after this, we ask them, please explain two to three sentences regarding your response. Why you, why you feel that it, it is important? And only 51 responded to these questions. And most of them, so actually, this is not included there. If I elaborate the thesis paper, I just completed my thesis paper yesterday. That's why Daryl told me further you included here. But uh, I have the written documents. There is the written that's so, uh, they, they are, uh, opinion is deals with the sensitive situation, intention regarding the patients, and it is very important. Someone say safety of the doctors as well as the patients. That is very important. That's why this is important. Some say types of the patients and level and uh, to maintain the sound management. And some hold that personal safety and medical, okay. uh, medical also to the patients. For patient safety and for the professional safety, ethics is known of the ethics is very important. Okay, Mahmoud, please make it very brief. It's already one hour. We need so to. There is yeah. They gave their opinion. There is another question also. Uh, they, are, they are saying there's uh, what type of ethical or legal problems you face in the uh, in your uh, uh, in your uh, places. They all of them are face, uh, facing that they feel uh, in situ in different disciplines when they manage the patients. Uh, such as in suicidal case, when they manage the patient, they are attacked by the attendants. In surgery case, when they ask uh, uh, the, uh, uh, written concern, they sometimes they are okay not about this, and sometimes there may conflict arises. Even some managements in the hospitals, when they uh, want to uh, manage the patients, they can't, uh, the attendance of the patients do not. Uh, uh, help them to uh, buy some things or even sometimes uh, the, the medical personals who are working in the uh, hospitals they also not helpful for the patients so there are some issues and comments they arises here and interesting is when there are other questions when we ask them there that is a uh, Wow, ethical conduct is only important to avoid legal actions and so and so these questions. Actually, this is the descriptive type of questions. So the, uh, they 
different comments they are giving. So we analyze this and they and they spell this type of questions. And you know, time sorted and shortening, I can't explain all the questions individually. That's maybe a problem. So that's why you are not uh, clear if you got this. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to gather all the questions in the room and then so please take a note, Mahmoud. Tom, while you start, you have several, and then please raise your hand if you have more questions. Sir, I have some uh, questions to you regarding the research and project. I have uh, three specific questions that uh, regarding the average knowledge. Uh, you mentioned uh, there you have some skills on uh, average. Uh, most of the participants had didn't have average knowledge. How did you measure that average knowledge? Average of knowledge. Okay, next question. Average of knowledge. Okay. And uh, as 55%, they don't have the average of knowledge, as you mentioned. But most of the persons didn't know about Nuremberg Code and Helsinki Declaration. Doesn't it contradict? As most of the person doesn't know these two declaration and code, but they know the ethics and they have average uh, knowledge of ethics. And the contradiction is that as most of the person do not have any ethical knowledge, about 55%, I assume, but how did they define that they don't have any ethical issues regarding their practice? That most of the, them told that I don't have any problems in uh, during my medical practice. Many of them. Yes. How could they define the ethical issues? Since they don't uh, know or they don't have uh, a, a handsome knowledge about uh, ethics, how could they define the daily issues of ethics? Okay, Mamo. Actually, there is no measurement which is very difficult to uh, uh, call that uh, they have the average knowledge of this. If we see the medical curriculum, the undergraduate levels, most of the participants, about 300 something, are about the undergraduate levels. And if you see the, the ethical behavior, uh, behavioral uh, knowledge which uh, they learn in the community medicine uh, classes, actually there is nothing to written there. And the only hypocrite role sometimes they gain. Uh, they understand only the hypocrite world and uh, they have uh, not uh, in the curriculum not included any other support system, health security creation, no Nuremberg uh, code, nothing is in the text. And no teachers also giving the any uh, teaching uh, materials, uh, provided any teaching materials to understand this ethics knowledge. So all of them are told that they have the idea, they got uh, knowledge from journals, books, newspapers, or seminars, but uh, and, uh, they have uh, not uh, even when we are asking them. So, what uh, you know about hypocrite uh, Nuremberg Code or something? Because most of them say just they have no idea about this. So, what it means? It means there is a knowledge gap in the medical curriculum. We should include these things in the medical curriculum because they have told that they are facing problems when they are doing practice in their daily daily practice and in, even in the hospitals also when they manage the patients. So it is very important uh, we want to uh, from this uh, from this study that uh, there is a need of uh, uh, input, uh, a need of uh, medical ethics input in the medical curriculum and changes or some needs some modification in the behavioral course. They are written that uh, I I got the papers in the, the uh, medical curriculum behavioral activities. There is only 16 hours allocated for the medical students. Out of them, uh, only the say, uh, six hours is for the lectures and 10 hours in the uh, curriculum development. Uh, on the uh, that is uh, six hours and the tutorial is 10 hours. So it is, and there is concept of behavioral science, and there is some core points is written here, but that not include all the ethical issues is there. So it needs uh, ethics more 
especially the code of conduct of the patients and how to bear with the uh, patient attendance and there is a gap also here uh, that is uh, we are uh, in our uh, patients also uh, know what doctors can, doctors can do to them and patient attendance also should know uh, how to be able to know. It is also very important that it is needless study in this, uh, of, this uh, of this particular issue. So it, this is important. Yes, uh, Sunny and then Saifu. Uh, information uh, presentation was great. I would like to add over here. There is a topic in medical science, and that is uh, law and ethics. And as we are telling that awareness on ethics of medical professionals, so I think there must be a table like that, which related with the ethical issues, which are very important for medical professionals, like autonomy, justice, confidentiality, uh, then uh, to do. But we know all this, these are the ethical issues, which are very much important to the medical professionals and it is very much related with our private practice which we are not practicing in our daily life. So I didn't mark any table over there uh, as they have uh, any knowledge regarding this because you told in your uh, table that ethical practice is not important. Uh, three person uh, told that not at all. So um, I think they have a very big uh, conceptual uh, lack of knowledge from the beginning of their medical life. They don't know even that this is very important for the every patient. Be because uh, if we uh, don't know this, then we can't do any justice for the patient. That's why we just wanted to do work. And that's why we wanted to see what about the knowledge of awareness of our professionals regarding our uh, patient. There is a table. I don't know, Mama, I, I just want to add over here. Is this table is very important that uh, when they are not, uh, they are working not getting justice. This this uh, issue, uh, uh, the topic is not linked with this thing. That they are not get justice uh, justice from their patient or something like that. Here the awareness of the professionals to their practice to their patients or something like. That. I don't know. You want to say in this way or not? Actually, awareness is very difficult to how anyone will be aware of the ethics. Uh, you know every point of the ethics right or wrong, which is moral, yes. you should know the code of conduct, how you will behave the patients and what you, you can expect from the patients and their attendance also. And, and another thing is very important, I know ethics, my patient knows ethics, but our environment do not follow the ethics, it is not manageable. So it is very important for what are, what are the reasons behind this not to do a practice ethically. Sometimes uh, I do my practice ethically, but uh, uh, my colleagues, my staffs are not uh, uh, doing ethical practice. That may sometimes the, uh, the uh, uh, I am not in, involved in misconduct, but others are doing this misconduct, but I am become one of them. That is the importance. So, awareness of ethics, it is not uh, getting from only one point. It is depends upon several variables. So, that's why we have to ask them what is the situation you are facing in the, uh, in your working place. What's the knowledge you have? You know about the code of conduct. You know about uh, uh, the Helsinki Declaration. You know about the patient's rights. You should know about your own rights and uh, how BMA, BMB sits role. That's why all of the things are actually involved. Not only a specific one point you can't ever get the awareness of the ethics. So the, there are several points that are paid here. Okay, Saifu, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, very well. But level of knowledge or average knowledge or level of knowledge cannot be quantified. Knowledge actually it is uh, cannot be quantified. So it would be better if we had a quality part in this research. That is in-depth interview of the medical professional or uh, focal group discussion. Uh, I think uh, uh, better level of knowledge uh, I think uh, come on. Uh,
fight. So my economy shall make you have uh, enough time that you can have a mixed metal stack. It's both qualitative and quantitative. For quality, because some uh, measurement you cannot quantify. So in your uh, knowledge level that you should practice, it should be uh, quality part. So if you uh, add an uh, in-depth interview or productive discussion, I think more rather will come. Uh, this Actually, this is a sample of uh, the, uh, the study title awareness of a sample of a group of doctors in a medical professionals. So, uh, this is actually the pilot study maybe. In future, we can gather some knowledge from here, uh, from this study and we can uh, do a focus group discussion in future. That will get better results. And there is no study, that's type of uh, study is done here. So this is the initial stage. In future, uh, I recommend this, uh, this need to more and more studies. Okay, uh, yes please. Sir, you talked about rural technology, you talked about uh, different rules and regulations of the institutions. So do you think that ethics, ethics is comes from the institutions or ethics comes from others, or religious values or uh, yeah, something else? Do you think that this ethics of or medical ethics or any ethics comes from this institutional rules and regulations? Because at the beginning of the world civilization, you know that institution and individual both are hunting each other. And what you are talking about is, is actually the rules and regulation of the institution. So I I am confused in this case that uh, is, is it ethics or is it uh, other rules and regulations? Actually, from the ancient period, that is the hypocrite from the hypocrite wars and from uh, in the second world war uh, to now up to this time there is the international regulations and other products to maintain the ethics and law comes from also from the ethics how law law for uh, law, uh, law for the uh, for the patients law for the uh, physicians and ethics is involved within this and everything is ethical and uh, and uh, uh, if uh, 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 if a physician do any misconduct, uh, then uh, she, she or he or she will be under jurisdiction, and he, will be, he or she will be punished under the law. And if uh, any patients or attendants of the patient do any misconduct, they should under the law. So law and ethics uh, all are the related with each other. It's important. Okay. I, I think we have to stop. Thank you very much for your excellent uh, presentation and research. Thank you to everybody.